Hey guys, Cole here, playing some Folk Tale. But you may be saying to yourself, well, Cole, what the hell is Folk Tale? And well, what the hell Folk Tale is, is a, it's a neat little village builder. It's early access, so there's a, a lot to be added and that will be changed. Um, but at the moment, it's a, it's just, it's a neat little village builder. You know, it's pretty cool, but it's got to, I really like the art styling of it. I, uh, I bought it like a year ago, and it's had several updates, um, including a campaign mode, which I haven't played, which I'm going to record. Um, but the art styling, I, it reminds me of Fable a lot, and I really like that. And um, I mean, it's got some balancing issues and, you know, some typical early game access-y things, but uh, I'm going to try to play the campaign if it's boring or just, I think it's kind of like a tutorial more. They call it a campaign, um, because I think it's got a little bit of a story, but it teaches you how to play the game. Uh, I played it for, like, 30 seconds, if that. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm gonna be doing that, and if it's boring, or maybe later, if I just wanna do more, I'll do a sandbox. But, uh, let's go ahead and start with the campaign. Um, also, uh, the loading screen right here at the bottom. It's got, uh, it's got, like, a good sense of humor. The developers have a good sense of humor, I really like that. You'll get all kinds of weird, crazy messages down here at the bottom with their loading screen. Like this. Waiting for Bernard to bring more toast. Making last-minute changes. Yeah, you know. I don't know. It's, it's a nice little charm. I like it. I think it's cute. <coughs> but. Right now, I, I started, um... I played the easy sandbox. Like, there's three different levels for the sandbox. Easy, medium, and hard. And I played the easy and, like, killed all the enemies on the map and... Built a nice little village, and then I, I played on medium, which so far has been the hardest one. Um, they like constantly send wolves, or well, periodically send wolves at you. All right, ooh. Sag the town, men. We're taking the lot. You, girl, where are all the hides from this year's trapping season? They went to the capital to be sold a week ago. Listen, woman. I need those hides. I'm sorry, Kenny. Th th they've all gone. Grab the grain from the stores. We have a camp full of grumbling bellies to feed. No, please. Winter will soon be upon us, and without grain, our families will starve. Oh, be quiet, you wretched whelp. Kenny, reinforcements from the capital approach. That's, that shouldn't be that guy's voice. I'm sorry, I panicked. I did, forgot he didn't have a voice. This is about as far as I got into the game is where, like, this is the introduction. Take the supplies back to the hideout. You three, take care of the watch. Oi, boss. Now that's that guy's voice. All right, Ready but what, serve. what's cool about this it's not just a normal village builder. Is that it's got like this little yes, uh, heroes what on the sandbox mode. Doing? You start off with like either Sir Gregory or him and uh, this other little chick that does some healing. Um, but you can open up a character sheet for them, and they actually level up. And even your normal citizens. Um, on an earlier build, they had it where you could individually level them, but they've uh, removed that. I'm not sure if they're going to add it back or if they didn't like it. But you can add gear to the. Uh, these watchmen units, these just let normal guards. To see here. Um, yeah, simple. And you can replace their weapons because you can loot weapons, and you can actually make some at a blacksmith later. I'll show you that. Uh, but right now, oh, it's wanting us to do. That's not. That's part of the sandbox. What we're supposed to do is defeat the three bandits. Standing defeat the bandits. Kill zero three of them. Orders received. <laughs> And Sir Gregory has got some pretty cool abilities, like that one right there is a power slam. BAM! Uh, but I've been playing this kind of off and on for a little bit, and uh, I really like it. I really like what they've done. Here we go, see, look, I can loot their bodies. Oop. Oh, thank oh, you, sir. Thank you. Had you not arrived when you did, we would have lost everything. Praise the holy toast you arrived when you did. Uh, alright. Who is this Kenny? Kenny is his name. He never did well at fending for his own the hard way. Setting plow and seed, he turned a thief or the rapscallion. He steals what he needs from whomever he wants with that band of thugs. No good the lot of them. 
How did he get that nickname? He was caught trying to steal hides from the market. The watch held him in chains till Mayor Putenberry could decide what was to be done with him. The offenses were so numerous, the mayor had to do something different this time. Kenny was marked as a thief. The scar lets folks know he is not to be trusted. Putenberry. That's an amazing name. Okay. Kenny fled town, he did. He was so mad. We thought we'd seen the last of him, but our traps started turning up empty. Shadows in the woods turned up too. Bandits. Old Mayor Putenberry, he's a good man. He sent word for the watch to help us. Continue! Oh. What can we do to help? I only wish you'd arrived sooner. Kenny and his band of brigands took all that we had. There's no food. Our homes barely stand. And Kenny took his revenge on Mayor Putenberry. <laughs> He's alive, but only just. You should go and talk to him. Speak to Mayor Putenberry. There we go. Look at that guy. Ready for battle. Um, where's there? He is. is that Mayor? Is that the Mayor Putenberry? I'm all right. I'm sure Kenny only wanted to teach me a lesson. Oh my, we're in quite a predicament, aren't we? And I doubt that's the last we've seen Kenny and his goons. Will the village recover? I'm in no shape to lead, Goku. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Master Roshi. <laughs> and Shirebrook has fallen. Perhaps we could start anew with your help. Food is our number one concern. After that, see to the needs of the village. Talk to them. I'm sure they'll be happy to help. Resettle the village? Alright, here we go. Rebuild Shirebrook. We need a fishing hut, windmill, and a bakery. So, boom, we come up here. And it's making us do a supply wagon first. Which, when you start a sandbox, you have to build one of these first. Before it lets you build the other. Construction movement. completed. Woodcutter's hut and the hunting lodge is empty. How many people do we have? Okay. <clears throat> so what you can do is click on these individual peasants. And click on here and get them to train. Uh, let's train a woodcutter. Boop. Or... Or, you can open up this little window here, which shows you the needs of your villagers. Well, it shows you what you're low on. Our village is running out of firewood. Our village is running out of food. And you can set the rationings to make them happier, but they eat more, you know. Or, uh, you know, get use more firewood. It's actually giving a negative. I don't know why. Oh, it's giving a negative on the food variety types. They want more food variety if you're going to ration more. <clears throat> and later, as your village expands, they'll need clothing and mead. Um, here's the taxes as well. They get taxed every 30 seconds. Oh, there we go. Nice. And now we've got 9 out of 10 population here. We can see that's when the next uh, peasants will come in. Our villagers. But here shows that we have 6 uh, peasants that are available. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll I'll keep up with two into wood cutting. And uh they wanted a bakery, so no, Our I don't want to put any hunting lodge. New settlers. Okay. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. So now we need to build a fishing hut, but we don't have enough wood. All right. Well, let me just pour a bunch into firewood then. Let me pour a whole bunch of them into wood cutters. Right away. Get that firewood quicker. All right. So <clears throat> they start off with us off with this thing. So let's look at this. This little uh, magnifying glass. Boom. Wood cutter shot. Um, you can hear. You can um, set to whether they want when you focus on planks or firewood. They're, they need firewood. These are the needs up here, right? They don't have firewood up there. They should, which I, I'm sure they'll add later. But they have their mead, food, your food varieties right here, and clothing. Uh, but for firewood, you gotta go to your inventory and check. It's, it's firewood is something that they need. It is it is an actual need. They actually pick it up and physically pick it up and put it in their little cottage. Um, but here's some stats here. I don't think these change because uh, you can actually do upgrades. But I don't think I don't. I haven't noticed that those 
numbers change when you do your upgrades. I don't think it shows it yet. Also, I don't know if this is working yet. The lash and reward, it's supposed to make them work faster. You can kind of like punish them or give them gold. But uh, I don't think it's working. But this is working now. This sawmill, this will increase their production of planks by five. And that's uh, firewood by five. Uh, it costs 500 gold, which I don't have any. I don't have the gold forage yet, but after a few minutes we will. Here I can upgrade the building. It supports four more workers. But it requires 200 happy sad faces. And we only have 75 happy sad faces. A culture. Culture is the game likes to call it. Oh, we don't have like any food, do we? Well, what we can do temporarily, because look, they're just, they are unhappy. Not enough food. We're like completely out. I can make this guy go pick some berries. Do we have any more peasants available? To pick berries? Ooh, those are all woodcutters there. Oh, there's some more peasants right there. Okay. Something to do? Something to do? Be right there, yeah, go. Yes, Petal. Busy, busy, busy. We get a bunch of berries. We need berries. Oh, we got a hundred wood now too. So let's build that. We probably had it for a while. I've been been busy talking. Hold on, let me zoom out first. So, oh, this is a good spot here because look at all the fish around. See those little fish icons? Yeah, you see them. I'm sure you do. Boop. <clears throat> and now the peasants. The peasants are what to build. You can um, only put so many peasants into. You have to have one available peasant. You have to have one available. You can put as many workers into it until you have one peasant. So I can I can put three workers in the fishing hut. Oh, and uh, Sir Gregory is leveled up. I've been putting stuff into his mind, which allows him to use his uh, abilities quicker. It's pretty straightforward. Fertility, mind, agility, strength. Yeah. Building <clears throat> completed. Incompleted? What do you mean? Oh, my objective is incompleted? Okay. Alright, I need a bunch of people. You guys can get on Training fish. This person will leave you without any peasants. See that? British guy yells at you if you try to train too many. Here's a well. Doesn't do anything yet, but it looks pretty. It's actually what the game tells you. Currently has no function, but it looks nice. Okay, so now we're gonna get a little bit more food, which is good. Uh, we don't quite have enough gold to uh, upgrade anything yet. Are they not collecting taxes? They should be. Hmm. Maybe that's disabled in this game mode right now or something. Oh no, there it goes five. No, that's not very much. I thought they were normally ten each. I usually bump up. If I get to, once I get a good, better foothold, I usually uh, try to have several food variety types so they have a lot of happiness, and then I can just bump up taxes. Which I, I can, I can bump up taxes now, but I won't do it though. Not yet. Um, now we need a windmill. A windmill. Which means I need some iron. Well, uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. There's some iron there. You. What now, really? I'll just get this peasant. Um, whenever a peasant mines, like the benefit of having this house is not only that they focus on their work, but they get more out of it. Whenever, uh, if I were to build. If I were to build a, uh,. A blacksmith, which he actually mines the ore and uh, smelts it to make goods. Like you can craft at certain certain places. I'll show you that too. I didn't show you all these tabs. I got I got distracted. So boom. So there's the upgrade. Yeah, boom. Crafting. And I can craft firewood out of planks, but it takes a lot of planks. And this is equipment. You can actually equip some of these guys with uh, different armor and things like that. Like actually, we got a uh, a fishmonger knife. So, let's go to this one, the fishing hut. Oh, see, they've only got 
They've got the crappy knives. I've got a good fish fish knife. Boom. Look at that. You can throw some armor. So they can, uh, certain... Depending on the job, they can wear different armor yes, types. Yes. I think everybody can wear cloth armor. Um, but yeah, it's, you can make armor and weapons at the blacksmith, which is pretty cool. Uh, what else? What else, what else am I going to go over? If you find better weapons, you know. It's actually good for to, uh, to equip your, your guys with, uh, better equipment as you find it and all that, because... Uh, you know, you might have spiders attack frequently, or wolves or something, and your your citizens, especially the loggers, are actually pretty strong. I know some of my woodcutters have, uh, can fend for themselves pretty well. But I mean, it's just nice to have once you get later later in the game. Ready. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to go over right now. I don't think at the moment. Um, I'm almost to the windmill, though. Right? Yeah, I just need, uh, ten more. That's what this guy's working on. Everyone's waiting on you. Everyone is waiting on you, guy. You're literally the, the one guy that's holding up the continuation of everything. You're holding up the line, bro. He's working on it, though. He's working hard. Gregory the Shifty. Alright, there we go. So, now let's build a windmill. Oh, let me zoom out first. Uh, let's put it out here in the uh, open land. That way I can have plenty of room to build uh, farms. And the farms are right here. Field. Boom. Sire, Kenny and his brigands have returned. You must protect us. Find oh. me those hides, boys. It's payback time. Uh oh. Standing firm. Double. There he time. is. We shall engage. Our town is under attack. Let's watch him fight. You call. I can do this where I pull all the aggro, and then... Uh, oops, I hit the wrong one. That was shield bash. There's one where you can increase your armor, which is the one I'm meant to do. Oh, there it is. Boom. Increase armor. <clears throat> but yeah, that's why I like to bump up his mind, so I can just spam these abilities. Oh, no. You're killing my peasant, bro. See, there's my forester. He's going at it. Ah. Oh no. Okay. It's okay if the peasant dies. We'll just get a new one. My wife's more you now. selfish oh, scum. I need those hides. I shall return with all my men and level this village to the ground. Mark my words. Okay. Settlers have arrived looking for a fresh start. Did somebody die? I guess somebody died, yeah. Okay. One of my villagers died. Uh, I fear Kenny may never relent unless we act with force. Take a company to the watch and track Kenny into the woods. Find his hideout and do what you must. And put an end to this once and for all. You got it, Master Roshi. Did I have a guard die? Yeah, there he is right there. Oh, dang, man. That sucks. It's alright. Sir Gregory is strong enough to, do, to handle everything by himself, though. Construction completed. I think I picked up, looted some more. A building has been constructed. Yeah, there we go. Some more. Which of who's it's? Fishing knives. Can I not take all of them? Okay, whatever. It's fine. Some things you can salvage here. Recycle for money. I got to sneeze. Okay. <coughs> What's oh, a red dot? What is that? Some wolves out here or something? Oh, it's a boar. Okay. Uh, I need some. 
I need some peasants now. Well, I got one freed up because of the, uh... On my way! Because a guard died. Maybe I'll have one less on the wood, and then put another okay. one on the farm. And also, you can change what this field is. You can only... You can not only do wheat, but you can do, uh, cotton, herbs, and carrots. And the carrots, you need, like, a lot of fields, man, to do carrots. People eat the crap out of carrots. <laughs> So, I mean, that's kind of, I think that's something that's a little unbalanced, because really you'll need, like, one wheat field, and then you need, like, six or seven carrot fields in order to keep up with people. It's crazy the amount that you need. Um, but we need, we need a bakery. Oh, we need another wheat field. We don't need another wheat field game. Trust me. I've, I've been playing for a bit now. You just need one wheat field. That'll field, that'll, that'll feed a huge village. One wheat field will. Okay, and I also need a bakery so they can turn that wheat into bread. What does it take for the bakery, though? Oh, let's go through some of the buildings here, too. Let's do some... Okay, this is basic buildings. So you've got your cottage and the storehouse. You can build another storehouse. Um, it increases your storage capacity, which I've never actually reached my storage capacity. I've played for... Building completed. Um like a hours on one like three or four hours on one village and so I mean that's not really that big of a deal I don't think um there's the well the useless well herbalist den I haven't actually made one of those yet but I have had my villagers get sick Even it didn't do anything though like they got sick and they'd have like this green smoke coming off of them to represent that they're sick and they would like spread it to other villagers but it didn't actually do it, it didn't kill them it didn't hurt them it didn't do anything so I think it's not really implemented yet, um, but when it does, the herbalist den is, uh, is there to take care of it. Uh, when they need clothes, we'll need to grow cotton over there. We'll have to make a cotton field, and then a weaver's hut in order to weave it. And then from there, you need a tailor in order to take that from what the weaver did, the bolts of cotton or whatever, and then uh, make it into clothes there. Let's see, and there's the hunting lodge we have over here, which they, uh, hunt deer for meat. And they'll actually walk pretty far away. Like, they, they, they tend to get themselves killed a lot, because they walk so far from the village. So, you'll probably have to, you can actually put it, oh, here we go, we can see all the meat they can hunt. Um, but you can actually put it so that they auto recruit. Here's workers, here's some, here's the workers tab. I don't think I showed you that. So I can, like, here's some available peasants. I've only got one, so I can't put her in there, but if I had them uh, more, you know, I can just click them and throw them in there. And here's tier, tier 2 building, tier 3 building. Uh, but auto-recruit. Because hunters will probably get themselves killed a lot, so it's probably wise, if you want to keep a steady flow of hunters, to keep them auto-recruiting. Um, if you get them good bows, if you find good bows, or are able to make good bows for them, uh, that would probably help keep them alive a lot better. You can upgrade some stuff for them there. Uh, but they will hunt meat in uh, leather, and you can turn the leather into armor at the blacksmith, and the meat, you can uh, make a butchery, and they'll make meat pies. Don't ask what kind of meat is inside. It's deer. It's deer. Um, so that's that. Woodcutter set, you know, planks and, planks and firewood. Oh, but also, I was shooting you earlier, I forgot to... <laughs> Very scatterbrained. Um, with this though, when I unclick that, the benefit of doing that, of, of, of focusing on one thing is to get twice as much. So if I've got, well, a ton of planks like I do right now, but my villagers are using a lot of firewood, which they're not really right now, but, you know, uh, they do use a lot of firewood the more villagers you get, so. Um, because they use firewood much more frequently than they use planks, so more than likely you'll get a surplus of planks that you're not using at the moment, so you can just boom focus on firewood and that way you can have just one woodcutter's hut uh, focusing on firewood on it and that that'll help out a lot I'm gonna have both because I do need to do more building on this tutorial so um oh I need a bakery what do I need for a bakery I need more stone okay let me get my workers set up and get them working on what they need to uh, that way they can be getting that while I explain more. So that, that's that's the first part of buildings. I'll explain more here in a moment. Um, what I do want is I want a stone cutter. 
I'll just stick him up here. Can you go up here? Yeah, you can. And I'll just stick one peasant over there. I'll stick a peasant from the windmill over there when they get that built. Um, I only needed a little bit of iron, right? 20. Yeah, I need like 10 more iron, so... I'll grab that peasant and make her get some uh, iron. And that'll be enough for now. Okay, back to explaining. Stone Cutter's Lodge, I'm making one right now. They get stone. It's as simple as that. They just get stoned. Stone. <laughs> Blacksmith, he, uh, you know, I think I explained a little earlier. Gets, uh, gets ore. Makes, uh, weapons and armor. You can, uh, do it. There's a lot of research stuff for that thing, because you can research each type of armor. Like leather armor, chain armor, scale armor, plate armor, and all that. And weapons, too. It all categorizes differently, so... There's a ton of upgrades for the blacksmith, so it's a, not a bad idea to get that early on and start upgrading that stuff so I can get some really good stuff. And the fishing hut, we made one over here. Um, and the monastery. Completed. Now, the monastery is what you need for the mead. Let's see. Boom, and stone cutter. My pleasure. Uh, we almost have enough. I might upgrade this just so we can get some more stone, because I think we need, like... 50 more stone or something like that. The villagers actually talk quite a bit, which is pretty funny. I like that. They've got their own... They've got a lot of... The developers have a good sense of humor. I like that. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I need 100 stone there. So I'm actually going to upgrade the stone cutter lodge. So that they can get it a little quicker. So the production... Takes a few seconds to research. All right. Monastery. Yes, you need the monastery in order to uh, take the honeycomb right here. Boom. The yard. You stick a couple of them next to it, just like how the this is set up. And then they'll make mead. And then I don't know if you absolutely necessarily need a tavern in order for people to get the mead, because. Whenever people get food, they can get it out of the supply wagon. Like, you'll notice them. He's eating right now. Or she's eating. Something to do? I think she grabbed it out of the supply wagon right there. So they'll just grab it out of the supply wagon. How can I be right there, darling? And, uh, and eat out of that. So I think they can just leave the meat in there. But the tavern says it's, uh... No, I think you do need a tavern. I think you do need the tavern. Because it takes the barrels of mead and turns it into, like, cups. Those pints. Because the monastery makes barrels, and then this, and then the inn makes uh, pints. And that's what the villagers get. Okay, yeah, I think you do need it. Now, all this is subject to change because it is a, a developing game, but this is, I mean, seems like a pretty solid base what they've got from here. And they'll probably make some tweaks to it later and, and some changes. Um, I haven't played around a whole lot with the walls, I haven't really had the need to. Oh, in a workshop. Not implementing it. Okay. See so the walls. There's uh, some nice wooden walls, and there's some nice big old stone walls. But I've never made them. I, I, I might be able to jump on one of my other sandboxes and just play around with them. But I, I mean, haven't had the need to. I got like I kill every enemy on the map, and so. And I mean, there are some, uh, like this one goblin camp that's not too far from me. Uh. They respawn. They, they respawn, like, really quickly. What's that? Chisel's complete. Okay. Uh, but they don't come attack me, though. They leave me alone. The biggest problem I had was uh, wolves frequently coming and attacking me and spiders. But then I eradicated both of those. And, um, and then I didn't have any threats anymore. So walls were kind of unnecessary. I just had guards posted at the bridges like this. The map I was on had a river like that, so... Okay. Do I have enough for bakery? You bet your fanny I do. I can blab all day. And waste time. Bam! Um, I do like this upgrading thing, though, because then that means you don't have to build, like, a ton of cottages. You can just, boom, upgrade one. Doubles your, uh... See, it says four more workers, but that's for other buildings. For a cottage, it gives you five more peoples. Five more peasants.
Oh, also, your woodcutters. They should do this automatically, these seeds right here. Um, they replant so they don't, you know, uh, so they can have trees to cut down later. But, um, they're not very quick at planting them. They'll plant them, like, occasionally, so you'll start stockpiling them, but you can manually make them yes, do it. Petal. I want you to plant one right here. Okay. And she's gonna go complete whatever action she's doing right now. She's gonna go get to it or complete it first. There, yeah, see, so she got to that log. That, her action was to pick up that log. But I made her do the tree, and she was like, she had to wait till she got to the log to decide to do what I told her to. That the, the woodcutters, they've got a mind of their own, man. They don't listen very well. Yeah, but that'll grow up to be a tree, and then we can cut it down. That's green. That's called staying green. That's recycling. <laughs> it's not recycling. I don't think that's how recycling works. Okay. Also, see, look at this. See that? It's a bakery. And it looks like a toaster. It's also backwards. That's my bad. I wasn't paying attention. But it's fine. I, I, that's, that's, I think that's probably why I really like this game. Is that the, the charm. Just dumb, dumb little stuff like that I think is just so cool. That the fact that that looks like a toaster. Like I just, I don't know. And the, the, the fishing, uh, Building is it fishing hut? It's like half of a ship. I think that's so cool. And the models, character models, I really enjoy all that. It's those nice little touches, it's just... Also the fact that you can get this low to the ground, not all, like, you know, RTS or over-the-top games like this let you just get, like, right up in the shit. See, let's take a, let's take a close look at Sir Gregory here. He's a... I stand ready. Pretty strapping young lad, isn't he? <laughs> He's too tall. Okay, sorry. Find the bandit hideout and put Kenny. I will do that in a moment. Let's uh, let's put one person on the bakery. Who can we who can we spare? Uh, oh, we got plenty of fish. Right away. There we go. Okay. Ready for duty. Oops, no, I don't want you logger. All right, be right there, darling. At your command. Um, he ran okay. off this way, I think. And he also came from this way. So he should be this way. That is a mine there. Oh, those are bears. Actually, bears are this one. It's fine. What is all the... Oh, this is it over here. Be right yep. there, darling. They shall not pass! Holy crap. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff. Everyone focus on me, and then die! No problem. Whoa. Chainmail leggings. That's nice. And what is that, a cleaver? Can you wear those chainmail leggings so you don't die? Yeah, look at that. Nice. I really like that. Can, like, equip them all this junk. I think he can wear that too, yeah? There we go. For honor. It's kind of, it's kind of like a village Waiting builder with a little bit of, with a few like RPG <laughs> elements to it. I think that's just, I like, I, th I think when you just mix genres like that, I just, I love that shit. Just take two genres that are fun and just fucking mix them together. Makes for a cool game. This guy's Time sleeping? Is to obey. Something's not right. Y'all men wait here in case more... Wait. You men. You men wait here in case of Kenny's lackeys show up and outflank us. And outflank me. I'll head in and open a can of whoop-ass on the rascal. Although someone seems to have beaten me to it. Oh. Hold on, what's that? Oh, cool. Yeah, look at that. Interactable environment. That's good. I like that. Okay, into the cave. My oh, lord. I'm supposed to do it manually? Enter bandit cave? Yes. You got this, Sir Gregory. Anything good? Is it just supplies? Oh, 60 me, that's good. Double time! 
That's worth it. Holy crap. See, look, it's just like a little, it's like a little RPG now. I don't know, I love that. Love it. Two and gold. Uh-oh. Come at me, bros! Come at me, brethren! And so to battle! Ooh, a spear. Yeah, does okay damage. I'm gonna knock him out. I don't think there's an actual sound effect for that, so I'll, I will be providing him. Quick march! Uh, what's up here? Alright, I'm not gonna get all these barrels. There's too many barrels of. Holy crap, there's traps? Wow. This campaign mode is actually really Tis cool. Honor. Fight that door! Can I. Oh, yeah, I can break the door. Wow. They're just adding all the little features in, aren't they? This cave is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Oh. Kill him one at a time, Sir Gregory. Come on, focus fire. Who wants some? Come to Daddy. Also, the looting's on like a small radius, so if there's bodies piled on top of each other, and you just like loot all that's near wish. it, which is really nice. Okay. Oh, a chest. Now I have to get a chest. That's gotta have something good in it. Today, you die horribly. What's in there? Oh, nothing good. Man, every time I open a chest, or every other time I open a chest, there's also some, always some, like, really good exotic weapons and stuff in there. Or rare weapons or something, you know? No, don't go there. Go there. There we go. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. It's alright. Maybe those, uh... Ruby chokers are worth some money. Made the more noise like it was money. I don't think it did anything. Made that the noise like money. <laughs> you know that money noise. Oh, here's Kenny. Holy shit. Before you killed him and burned down our farm. Oh shit! What? No, that was a accident. Never supposed to. <coughs> I have waited years for this moment, Kenny. Feel free to start screaming any time. No, please, you don't understand. <coughs> Enough talking. Your pitiful life is over, and your soul will soon be another worker for the factory. Welcome to your eternity. No! Huh. Uh, Master Roshi, how'd you see that? You're back in the village. She killed Kenny. That's actually quite convenient. Well, hello there. I am both worried and intrigued by the efficient manner in which you dispatched our quarry. Could I interest you in a pin pint of the ta- How is he talking to her? No, you cannot. A walk down by the river? This is totally Master Roshi, oh my god. No. Perhaps a simple. If you make one more suggestion, I will rip out your 
tongue and feed it to you. At least I won't have to taste it. Ha ho 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 ho. You certainly have quite the imagination. Perhaps another time, then. Which isn't a suggestion so much as a statement. Yes, I'm... Oh, my God. Stay perhaps another time. Okay, come on. Big point. While I don't appreciate your friend's advances, I do appreciate that you didn't intervene while I dealt with a personal matter. We could use someone with your level of discretion. Talk to Mordrick at the factory if you're interested in making some money. If you bring him along, however, I can't promise his safety. Oop. Cool, okay. <laughs> Move along. <laughs> Move along. I can't loot Kenny? Oh, but I can take his chest. And we've got nice some more armor. Okay, cool. Um, I think my chicken's dead. Tally ho! So I'm gonna go check that. But I will be back. And I'll audit it out. So it'll be like I wasn't even gone. Let's do some more strength. By the power of editing, I'm back. Orders instantly. received. I'm gonna bust these barrels because they're here. Whoa, God, these things have got. Oh my God, I should have been looting these things the whole time. That had better shit than the, the fucking uh, chest did. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, see, got better. Oh, that's got way better damage. Jagged sort of. I don't care to. I don't even care to read the rest. Jagged sort of. Get that in me right now. Buy an innkeeper. Broken bottles. Of innkeeper weapon. Does it look different? Yeah, it does. That looks cool. Double time. I kind of want to just bust the rest of the barrels. Jesus. Okay, Gregory, what are you doing? Come on now. Holy shit! <laughs> he teleported. It's a new trick. Plate leggings. Wow. Wow. Just wow. It's got such good gear. Not that I really even need it. I don't even need this much honor. damage or protection. Okay. Alright. Let's get out of here. And with the power of editing, I'll probably just edit this out so I'll instantly be at the uh, entrance again. And away! Double time! March and so to battle. Wow. Polished earth stone. Once. Wow. Look 
that's a better chess piece. Jesus. She find better and better gear. Onward! Time to die! some difficulty. Your door seems to be open to me. <laughs> if you let me out, I would make it worth your while. Ooh. Well, I get a choice. I don't know, sire. He seems rather dubious. Why is he all locked up like a criminal? Well, he's in a bandit cave, so we could assume that he got kidnapped. Um, but he is holding a sword. He's blue. He doesn't appear to be human. Oh, that's like we're super racist. Okay, scratch that. Okay, just he, he looks shady. Regardless of his color or race, he looks shady. Uh, don't exactly look trustworthy. Sketchy cave doesn't necessarily mean that he's not a person of integrity. I'm gonna let him out. Fuck it. My apologies, my liege. I'm sure this strange-looking fellow has a perfectly legitimate reason for his... Incur... Whatever that word is, I really can't even bother reading it right now. I certainly do. I was simply pursuing the contents of this cave when, boom! Someone whacked me over the head and dragged me here. I woke up to... Disconcern... Disconcerning? Disconcerning sounds you hear now. I'm not sure what the cause is, but I'd really rather not find out. Uh, you don't seem human. <laughs> what are you? I don't want to be racist. What are you doing in this cave? You don't look rather thief-like. You do look rather thief-like. He does look like a thief. How do I know you're not going to rob you? Just because I'm a thief doesn't mean I would... I would behave like a common brigand. Release me from this cage, and I will give you my word not to steal from you. Besides, from the look of it, would be far too easy. Oh. From the look of you, it would be far too easy. Well, all right, thief, you're free to go. You want a valuable lesson? Or I disagree. I disagree with your career choice. I think some time in the cage will help you reflect. Now let's, yeah, let's go. I'll do a good deed. My lord. And now he's mine. Look at that. See that? Your orders. Be risky. Cool. This little thiefy guy. I wonder if he's going to stay with me forever. And I just got another really good sword. Only by usable by Sir Gregory. He uses a fishbone knife. Well, it is 16 damage. That's not bad, though. Can't give him that? No. Can give him more. No, I can't give him armor either. Level one hero. That's cool. I wonder if he's gonna stay with me. What would you have me do? <gasps> what would you have me do? Oh my gosh, you get so Ready tired. For duty. I just got off work not too long ago. Um alright, I'm gonna get out of the cave is what I'm gonna do. This was just right here at the entrance, right to the right. Oh, there's some more brigands. Let's fight these brigands. Forward! <laughs> I want to see him fight, too. I mean, it's not that I had a tough time, but I would have gotten this to his cave faster if he was with me the whole time. Actually, does he have special abilities? No, he doesn't. I don't think he's going to stay with me the whole time. I think he's going to leave. I think he's going to leave me as soon as I leave the cave. Yes. Nom, 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 nom. Sticking the weapons together. Don't panic. Tightening up graphics to level three. Oh, he's still with me. Yes, my dear. Right away. My guards here too. Tis an honor. All right, let's go. Let's go home, guys. Where's home? Which way is home? 
Oh, oops. Who wants some? Ready to no, serve. Mine is to obey. Actually, I can I can deck deck out that uh, yes, city guard here. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Here, take that. Take you can't take that. It's fine. Uh, do I have like a really good weapon? Take the helmet. Give you some shoulder pads. Shoulder. Give you some better pants. Um, give you a belt. Oh, I can do weapons. 12 damage. Just 12 damage already. That's only for Sir Gregory. That's for Sir Gregory. It's for a stone cutter. Just for a miner. It's for a butcher. That's by Fisher and Quixel, whatever his name is. Quillix. Innkeeper. Okay, we'll go armor. Uh, it's Bell. Okay, I think it's all I can really give her. Okay. I'm gonna go and call it here. At the end of this video. I might split this one up. I don't know. <clears throat> I think it's a good stopping point for me because I'm getting tired and my chicken is done, guys. But um, I will continue this. And I'll try to get through the whole campaign. Maybe do all some right sandbox. Now. I don't know. We'll just see. We're thankfully too. But I will see you guys next time.